Jo of Schmelson Illustration. My favorite color is purple and I enjoy creating art. And in today's video, I have a very exciting announcement. After the last couple of weeks, I've been a little bit quiet, but I've been very busy working on digital printout planners or calendars, uh, fun little spreads that you would see in kind of like a bullet journal type thing. And I'm really excited about how they turned out. I am just selling them as digital downloads so that you have access to print them, put them into your good notes on your iPad and then write on them that way or however fits you best. I'm a little bit late to the back to school September time frame. Uh, we're like really cutting it close. <laughs> but my motto, one of my mottos for 2020 is to just do it even if it's not perfect in a couple of months you'll be glad that you started today so that's kind of why we're starting now and I did begin with September I'm gonna try and do monthly uh, listings to do September and then October and then November so right now I have two designs for my sep September spreads they are this crystal -y design and this floral one. I really love how the tropical floral one turned out. These are both monthly spreads, but I do have daily, weekly, and then kind of like a cute week at a glance type deal as well. But like I mentioned earlier, I am a little bit behind on the whole September dealio, and I really wanted this to be available for people who are going through school right now, transitioning into school, whether you're doing hybrid, whether you're doing online, or you went into school physically and then they shut you down and now you're going back to online which if that happened to you i am so sorry that like whenever i see that on the news that another school had a case of covid and had to shut down i it really does break my heart and so here's kind of a cheap affordable cutesy planner idea that might be able to lift your spirits during all of this i know personally for me cute aesthetic anything keeps me motivated uh which is like super dumb and superficial well not dumb but it's very basic very minimal and i'm okay with that because it is a psychology trick that if it's cute it gets me motivated to work on it and hey that means i get stuff done and so if that's you this is kind of what these planners were themed for um because they weren't designs that I went out and could find easily and for cheap. So that's kind of why I created them. Um, so we started out, I've just got the two sets, crystal and floral, but each of these patterns uh, has multiple colors. So if purple's not your thing or blue is not your favorite color, there are gonna be a couple other designs or colors out and available. And if you're not willing to commit to a spread, of one month at a time you're just not patient for that to wait each month which is totally fine I like to plan ahead I did come up with an academic calendar as well that's just gonna be the monthly spread just like this guy here um, but it does go from September all the way to June so you can download that for five dollars and utilize that to plan out the rest of your term your semester however that works for you um, I know that, that was something I always greatly enjoyed especially if you've already bought a planner wrote it all up and now you've got a whole bunch of changes to make because maybe COVID changed things up for you grab another one easy reset the downloads you can print as many times as you need to um, but hopefully that will help if you if that's kind of what you're looking for if you need that whole at the whole time frame kind of in front of you totally understandable it is just that one design come 2021 i am hoping to do a year's long worth of monthly spreads for the whole calendar year um so keep an eye out for that but that's why the academic calendar is only from september to june um Let's get into the more nitty gritty stuff that I'm going to plan on doing every single month. So right now we're on September. I'm going to show you the examples of my floral, my tropical floral design here. They are printed out as you can see. I used here specifically 110 pound cardstock tape, cardstock table, cardstock paper in pure white. Uh, it's just that nice extra thickness makes me confident that I'm not going to bleed through when I'm writing on it 
and I just it's just something I don't have to worry about whereas like regular printer paper is a little bit more flimsy so if you get a different look when you print yours out that might be why and also a good heads up uh, with what you see on screen for today what I'm showing you and then what you're gonna see on my Etsy page may differ from what you print out at home or at a library or at a workspace just because of printer setting differences so keep an eye on that that's definitely something you can change and work through um, but if you're not getting the exact colors you're seeing that could be why so we've got our monthly spread which is pretty basic we've got a set of notes at the bottom just because sometimes you need a little extra space for information then we've also got a weekly spread and I'm really excited about this. I used a couple different designs that I really enjoyed and appreciated and came up with these. You've got the little circles to put the dates for each week and you can change it up if one week is a little bit busier for you then you can use a whole weekly spread. Um, I do like the dots at the top, kind of hit your priorities for the day. Something that I heard from a productivity podcast is if you have uh, top list of priorities to get done each day and you get those done just like helps with feeling accomplished and gets your day prioritized and keeps you motivated and productive and then a little bit of space at the bottom to do some extra notes if need be some meal planning whatever kind of floats your boat and then I am a sucker for the timelines which is why I do have spaced out time for a schedule I love color blocking things I do it all the time I probably got 20 different colors in my calendar app on my phone and nobody else can understand it but only me and that's okay that's the only person who needs to understand it so next we have our daily spreads and there's a little spot at the today area where you can type or write the date because um, not every day is going to need a whole spread I know I'm guilty of that where I set up a whole week of in my bullet journal and then only use like two days to write information in because that's all I cared about um, but there's still plenty of space to do a lot of writing your priorities for the day so place to take notes, do some brainstorming, a little to-do list, which I think is kind of fun. And if you'll notice in the center, there's a bit of gaps between the pages or like on the right side of one page and the left side of the other. I did that intentionally so you can three hole punch these spreads, all of them, and put them into a binder if that's going to be a way to organize them best for you. Also, it gives a little chance to get an extra peek of some color without compromising the space to write your schedule and what you want to do each day. You can take all of these and put them on your bulletin board instead if you have it in a binder. And then I mentioned before, since it is a digital download, you can just put it as a PDF on your computer or your tablet and use markup to write on it and write your little to-dos and lists and things to do. Or you can download it straight into GoodNotes as a popular app for taking notes and you can kind of treat one area as a planner one little booklet that they have as a planner and that can be these PDFs can be downloaded and inserted into that where you can write those notes and use all those fun little features that they have the brushes and whatnot and this is a fun little week at a glance I did print two of them or I have them designed to have two on them so you can kind of cut them in half lay them on your desk Kind of like a cute little post-it note type of deal but there is no sticky on it that's a future idea a future fun investment and maybe adventure that i can go on but right now this is all we've got so feel free to cut them up and use multiples uh, if you just kind of need a heads up and this doesn't say september on it you can use the week of to write anything so if you find in my future designs one at a week at a glance design that you absolutely love just download it and print it for the whole year round and if you want to switch it up then find a new one that you like that's what I'm kind of excited about these different downloads and availabilities so that is pretty much all the spreads I just showed you everything in the tropical floral design but like I said there's gonna be multiple colors you can use and I also have the crystal designs and that has multiple colors as well so you can buy them individually for about a dollar fifty I think one of them I priced at two fifty check out my Etsy page the link is in the description below and you can find all of these listings and then if you don't want to buy them individually if you think it'd just be nice to have all of them I am gonna put them in a nice little package for five dollars instead of the like six fifty or seven dollars that it would be if you bought them all individually 
but maybe all you need is the monthly or maybe all you need is the weekly or daily so you can totally get them as individuals as well um, another thing I want to make sure I reiterate is that these are digital downloads I'm not gonna be if you purchase them I will not be mailing you a planner I will be I will not be mailing you physical printouts you would have to find a printer and print it out yourself a reminder print in color I've done that so many times where you print something in black and white on accident um, and you can if you have one at home then that's great but I know not everybody does so I would encourage you to check out your school if you have that capability maybe your workplace has a printer you're uh, allowed to use or you can even check your local library a lot of those have printers as well I don't believe that there's a charge with using those you just might need a library card uh, the other thing is if maybe physically writing isn't your thing isn't your jive um, and you have a tablet like an iPad where you draw and take your notes on that using procreate using good notes whatever have you you can still download them onto that platform and then draw on them accordingly you can also do that on like two-in-one tablet laptops whatever floats your boat um, but yeah that is the whole product series I'm hoping to do more and in a couple weeks post and update the listing for October as well because if you're like me you like to plan ahead so in the middle of September I'll probably be posting the October spreads as well so you have a chance to get that filled up with any holidays or birthdays and fun things that you've got going then and another thing I want to do for October is make an additional design to so not only my florals not only my crystals but also a kind of holiday themed one which is going to be very spooky so for any of my other spooky friends um, be excited about that I'm very excited to design that that probably won't come in multiple colors it'll just be a really cool thought out fun illustration and design that I'm super excited about so if any of those do sound interesting to you for the October I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be posting another video as soon as I update the listing for October and then you know when to go and grab it also favor my shop and you'll also get notifications for whenever I do upload a listing, whether it's for the spreads themselves or if it's for some other fun, exciting projects that I've got planned. Uh, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. If you liked any of these designs or if you have any suggestions, some if you look at the listing on Etsy and you say, hey, there's a color missing that I would absolutely love, leave a, just leave a comment below. I would absolutely love to see what you guys want and what you guys are looking for. I'm basing my designs off of images that I really desire in a planner and think would be super cute in ways that I would decorate my own bullet journal but maybe you don't have the time to do it yourself but if you have an idea if you have a color or a design idea let me know or some edits to some of the spreads leave a comment below and I would absolutely love your input and ideas uh, and if you do end up downloading and utilizing any of these spreads, please tag me in any Instagram post at Schmelson Illustration or hashtag Schmelson Illustration. I would love to see how you're creating and utilizing these tools. I'm just such a big study gram person anyway, so it would be really cool to see. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you got all the way to the end. I know I've been kind of rambling, but I'm just super excited. Um, hopefully this will encourage you to stay motiv motivated and productive and yeah, you take care of yourself and you have a great rest of your day. Bye!